for propulsion. For propulsion, the the housing glass housings. Yes. Um, we we like glass spheres. Those are things that are used in the industry, and they're they're nice and reliable, but they do have some unexpected failures that most people can't explain, um, typically at significant depths. Um, we did not like the idea of using glass spheres on a manned vehicle, uh, especially when they were going to the depth that they were trying to go to. Um, had it been shallow, we would have been okay with it, um, just because of the, the energy would have been somewhat constrained. But at the depths that they were going to, we didn't like the idea of those spheres out there. If they had an implosion, um, that's a pretty catastrophic implosion, and we didn't, we didn't know what that could potentially do to the pressure vessel, to the hull. And did you make these concerns known to OceanGate? Yes. And is that one of the reasons, or is that the only reason that University of Washington Applied Physics Lab and OceanGate stopped working together? That was one of the reasons. That was that was probably the that was probably the final reason on that. That was kind of what ended that relationship. But that was not the only reason. Can you explain what some of those other reasons were? It was like I mentioned before, just the the uh, mindset and the philosophy on engineering and developing a new product. Um, we we'd had too many conflicts on how we would go about doing that. What was your opinion of the submersible specifically?